Hello, this is Jeff of Tau Player Mouse. Mercury is a very dense, heavy metal. It's liquid at room temperature. In fact, it's liquid down to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. Any material with a lighter density than mercury should float on it, as you can see here. Now, I'm willing to bet that you spent many sleepless nights wondering what salt, table salt, and mercury would do when they're interacted together. First we'll just put a few droplets of mercury in the salt and it kind of does what you would expect. The uh, surface tension, surface area and all that is enough to support the droplets of mercury, the small droplets. If we add a little bit more, it creates a little puddle and it still supports it. Now we'll totally saturate it, pouring in five pounds, which is 2.2 kilograms. And it should be like pouring milk into a bowl of uh, Rice Krispies, but it doesn't do that. The grains of salt should be floating like corks on the surface of water, but they're being submerged underneath the mercury. It doesn't make any sense. Remember, the density of salt is one-seventh of that of mercury. And now we'll agitate it, and we do get some of the salt granules starting to rise to the surface. But really, with this major difference in density, the mercury should just be flowing to the bottom and the salt granules should just freely be floating to the surface. But it's just not doing that. It's taken a lot of agitation just to do this. The salt and the mercury never combine together. In fact, everything is still perfectly dry. But if you want to have fun, show this video to your science teacher and see if he or she can explain it. I make videos about mercury so you don't have to mess with the stuff. I have lots of videos on the subject. Check out my playlist. There's all kinds of stuff we do with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.